shortly. She's uh, just scattered their um, breakfast for the morning on the floor. Um, so Shona, when you're ready, if you could let the meerkats out. And here they are. <laughs> so if you are tuning in, thank you so much. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook or subscribe to us on YouTube uh, at Paradise Wildlife Park. We are based in Hertfordshire and we are with our lovely meerkat group today. So Shona, can you tell us a little bit about these guys? So in this group, it is a group of nine. Um, we have the mum, dad um, and their sons. Uh, so the mother, she's really easy to tell apart. Her name's Twig. She's just over here and uh, she's got the smallest black tip on her tail. Um, she's also quite little compared to the others as well. And then we have Nintu, the dad, who's actually by my feet um, at the minute. Um, he actually has a scar on the middle of his back. Um, so again, very, very easy to tell apart. So obviously I did say that they live with their sons. Um, they did have daughters, but unfortunately with meerkats, um, sometimes if they don't like certain members of the group, they do kick them out. Um, so that is what the mum has actually done. Um, she has kicked uh, her daughters out of the group. Now this is a normal behaviour for meerkats. Now the way she sees it is if there is no other females in the group, she has no competition at all. So she has kicked the daughters out for that reason. And now it is a um, female dominant group. So obviously the female, uh, well dominant female is always in charge. Um, with obviously her boyfriend who kind of kind of leads it with her. So usually we have no issue naturally with any of the other boys trying to kind of take over dad either because he is um, the dominant male. Um, but yeah, like I said, the females are always in charge. Now her daughters actually still, uh, do still live um, at the zoo. We have another group of meerkats over the other side and that is her five daughters that do live over there. Um, now at the park we do have um, a fair few amount of meerkat enclosures. Now all of our meerkats are related, uh, but for the reason of the dominance and the hierarchy, they have actually split up um, throughout the years they have been here at Paradise. Uh, so this obviously meant having to make lots of different enclosures for them. So you can obviously see they have left a fair bit of broccoli on the floor. Now broccoli isn't one of their favourites. Uh, they do eat lots of vegetables throughout the day, so we actually give them two vegetable feeds. Uh, the amount they got uh, just a second ago was about 150 grams, um, or just a little bit over that. And then the second amount that they get um, is also the same amount. Now other things that they eat um, here at the zoo is a pellet called insectable pellet. Uh, now this is actually made specially for animals um, that would naturally eat, kind of eat bugs, um, occasionally a few bits of meat as well um, and then we do give them protein as well so lots of protein um, is kind of really good for them we mainly feed them bugs here so things like locusts mealworms uh, crickets uh, cockroaches as well as one of their favorites uh, so they do get a very large mix of protein i know at some other collections they do give them chicks and mice as well and we have actually given them uh, chicks and mice before and um, that the bugs are actually just a lot better for them and um, so this is what we prefer to feed them as well so thank you everyone for tuning in so far. We are with our amazing meerkat mob and the lovely Shona, who is uh, on our small, small mammals and primate team here at Paradise Wildlife Park. Uh, so just a couple of uh, quick announcements. So we have got our animal support fund up and running uh, if you would like to donate. Um, obviously we are in our second lockdown, so a donation would be amazingly appreciated. All the money goes towards our animals and the care for them here at the park and the enrichment. <laughs> just getting attacked here by a little one. And if you are looking for something to watch as well, uh, you can head to BBC iPlayer and uh, we have a show with CBBC's One Zoo Free. Uh, and you can see the work that we do here at Paradise Wildlife Park and also conservation work around the world. So you can probably notice the dad um, at the back over there. He is digging at the minute. So they are all running away. So actually, this is a perfect kind of opportunity for you guys to see what they would, would naturally do if they see something scary. And so they're all looking out for danger at the minute. Um, so you can see them all standing up, uh, kind of having a little look around. Uh, some of them, their tails are actually straight up in the air. This is what we call a bit of a warrior dance. Um, so they are looking out for scary things. So I think an aeroplane is actually uh, going over at the minute. Now, naturally they would be hunted by big birds out in the wild. And so an aeroplane or a helicopter does kind of look a bit like a big bird. Uh, so this is what they're doing at the minute. They're seeing if it is something that is dangerous and they are all working as a team. So you can probably see a few of them are kind of doing a jumping movement with their tails up in the air. Some of the others are just looking around. 
Now the jumping movement is naturally to try and scare a predator away. Um, the others are just kind of having a look to see what's going on. Obviously, there is no predators in the zoo, so they kind of realise already very quickly that there is nothing scary going on, and they'll get back to kind of what they're doing. Um, some of them are still jumping around thinking there are scary things going on. Um, but as I was saying about their digging, um, someone has just gone straight back to digging over the other side. Um, now, they would naturally dig for bugs out in the wild, um, but they would also dig uh, because they naturally live in tunnels underground. Now, unfortunately, the sand um, isn't strong enough to hold tunnels, but also it wouldn't be very easy for us to kind of get access to and just check that they are OK throughout the day. Uh, so we don't have any tunnels or anything here at the park. Um, you might see the odd tunnel um, lying about, but they aren't kind of in a position where we couldn't get to them. Uh, they do have extremely sharp claws as well. Uh, the claws are obviously there to dig, make the perfect tunnel. But also some of the bugs, they eat have slight toxins in them. So that's really the um, claws are there to kind of get the toxins away just before they eat them. Amazing. And just a quick one for you guys that are watching. Uh, we do have our Black Friday deals on, uh, which launches this Friday. So make sure that you check them out. We have 50% off and 25% off experiences. Um, so definitely, if you want to come and uh, have an experience with the Meerkats, book an experience. It's a great Christmas present or birthday gift or a present for a friend or loved one. So once these guys have eaten, um, they do quickly decide that they do need a nap and you can probably notice some of the others, some of them are still trying to find food, but some of the others are actually chilling out under the heat lamps and one is actually sitting in one of the heat lamp cages at the minute. Um, they are quite an active animal, um, when it's kind of dinner time um, they come and eat quite a lot and then they just go straight to bed. They have the dream life really. I think this time of year we all wish that we had a personal heat lamp like this little one over here. Um, we have noticed only a few of them get in the heat lamp. Um, Vincent is one of the main ones that does like to chill out in the heat lamp. Um, which typical that isn't actually, oh it is him, that is Vincent. Um, so Vincent, again, you've been probably wondering how I can tell him apart very easily. Um, he actually has one kind of ear. Sounds very strange, but the outer ear flap, he is actually missing one. Um, and that is because his sister actually nipped it off when he was younger. Um, very normal um, thing. She tried to pick him up from the scruff of his neck, didn't quite work out. And here he is now. And so you can see on this side, he has the perfect ear fold. And on the, <laughs> the other side, he hasn't. Um, it doesn't affect him at all. Um, but yeah, he is the main one that likes to get into the heat lamps. And they are again doing their little warrior dance. Uh, I think the leaves actually made them jump. Um, obviously this time of year, there are lots of leaves falling off the trees. Um, and any slight movement does occasionally scare them. Um, but this is actually really good enrichment for the animals. Uh, something different um, is the perfect enrichment, even if it is a slight fear that they have. Um, as you can see, the fear doesn't last very long and they are straight back to digging and finding their food or just going for a little nap. Amazing, thank you so much, Shona. So for everyone that has been watching so far, we are with our meerkat mob. Um, just a couple of things, if you want to follow our page, follow Paradise Wildlife Park on Facebook, Instagram, we have Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, we have zoo to you lives as well next week, uh, so we go live with more of our animals and also our world of dinosaurs. So definitely check that out. And if you are looking for something to watch this uh, second lockdown, uh, head to the BBC iPlayer. We have CBBC's One Zoo Free, um, so you can see the work that we do here at the park with our meerkats and all of our other amazing animals and also the conservation work we do around the world. So we hope you have enjoyed our lo uh, lockdown live stream. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Thank you very much, Shona. Thank you. And that's all from us here at the park today. <laughs>